good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Today is the long overdue next installment of my Glamour Showcases. I will be showing off my five most used bard glamours, from stylish to adventurer, performer, classic, and fantasy. Let me know which one is your favourite, and which jump you would like to see in the next Glamour Showcase. Enjoy the video, and with no more delays, let's get into it. Let's begin with my personal favourite. To me, the Bard is a class whose glamour should be bold and colourful. Thanks to PvP, the Ballad Core set from the Labyrinth of the Ancients has made a return. In a much higher quality and is now dyeable, mixing together both turquoise and ink blue, blends the entire outfit together. With the perfect amount of armour plating to tunic, making the outfit feel as if it would still allow for the agileness a Bard would require. My weapon of choice, of course, is the Edenmorn Cavalry Bow. If the turquoise blue is not your style, then perhaps my adventurous style bard is what you are searching for. Dressed for travel and being designed around the windswept bow, I use Cactor, Hunter and Marsh Green to break up the design. The Come Hero Skin arm guards blend in perfectly with the Moonward chest piece and the waist wrap of the down mask and draped bottoms being a perfect finish to the design, while still keeping in that lightweight feel and brings a rather nice nature theme to the bard. This will certainly help you to stand out from others within the crowd. Up next is my performer style bard, a perfect lightweight attire, making use of the Mandeville Relic weapons. I chose the Virtue Oidas shoulder gloves for their dice scheme, as one arm can blend with the chest piece and the other stands out nice and bold. The Crystarian breaches of aiming help bring a little more shape to the top, with the Virtue Five boots once again being the perfect finish. My version is all undyed, but works well in many other colours. Look sharp in Limsa when giving your bard performances. Now if you're like me, and you're a fan of the original level 50 bard set, then maybe this glamour is for you. Using the augmented coral shirt, painted soot black, allows for some really nice glamour combinations. For the bow, I went with the Kujaku Kai, as I felt a smaller, lightweight style bow fits perfectly for this attire. The gauntlets once again are the Come Hero Skin Arm Guards, as they fit perfectly with the sleeve design. For the legs, I am using the Mog Station's Reshade Setsu Hakama. They blend well with the top and fit perfectly with the Yafumi boots of aiming. And last up, if you are looking for a bolder, fantasy style glamour, then my Light Seeker may just be your ideal choice. Bringing the undiable version of the Anabasos Cloak of Aiming, its blue colouring and floating crystal design fit perfectly with the longbow of Divine Light. For the gauntlets, I went with the PvP Force Monarchy Gauntlets, as their design and colour almost perfectly match the metal from the chest piece. Once again bringing the Crystarian Breaches of Aiming and the Virtuous High Boots to bring the set together. Those are my top 5 Bard Glamours. I like to create glamours using attire pieces I don't often see used. I tend to stay away as well from more casual sets as they are everywhere you go. Especially in Limsa, the same casual theme can be seen everywhere. My designs are intended to stand out from the crowd. Let me know if any of these designs inspire your own. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you all in the next one.